Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Dark circles under the eyes can be caused by various factors such as lack of proper makeup, harsh lighting or fatigue, which can make them visible in photos. Although some may prefer this look, most people want to remove or minimize them. To help you with this, I have created a video tutorial featuring four techniques for removing dark circles under the eyes in Luminar Neo. As always, if you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and that will bring you into our Dropbox account. From there, you can download the pictures, then import them into the application and once you're ready, we can start. Ok, so we are ready to start. As you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo, catalog module and we have our four sample files ready. To start with and cover the first technique, we're gonna select the lady with the blonde hair. So click on it and then click on the edit on the top of your screen or use E on your keyboard to get into the edit module. The first technique we're gonna cover is the easiest and fastest as it used the power of AI editing here in Luminar Neo. For this, we need to go into our main toolbar, scroll all the way down and look for the face AI tool. Click on it to open it. Let's again make it nice and visible. And what we're looking for is the eyes section. Maybe yours is closed, so simply click on it to open it and once again make it all nice and visible. Here in the list of the sliders, we are looking for the slider called Dark Circles Removal. It's really as simple as that. What it does when we increase the slider, it will try to find the eyes and then remove the dark circles under it. So let's try it. Let's increase it and see what it does. And it does quite a good job actually. You have to go quite far. Let's go somewhere around 90. And then check the before and after with the use of the little eye in the top right corner of the tool. So before and after. And actually the result is quite good. Now the downfall of this slider is that you are very limited in how much you can adjust the result. Yes, you can adjust the amount of the removal and you could also use masking. However, that's it. So really, this tool either works very well, just like on this example, or it doesn't work and then we will have to use one of the following techniques, which I'm going to show you next. Now, moving on the technique number two, where we're going to be using the power of develop tool to help us to remove the dark circles under the eyes. To do this, let's go back into our main toolbar and this time we're going to stay on the top in the essential section where we're going to open the develop tool. Here, before doing anything else, we're going to go into the masking. After that, we're going to click on brush and now we're going to adjust the brush. Now the size we want a little bit smaller. After that, with the softness, we're going to adjust it to somewhere around 80. And with the strength, let's start on 60. Now we're going to zoom in closer to the eyes and we can do that by using the shortcut at the bottom of our screen or we can use Command or Control Plus on our keyboard. After that, once you get there, if you have your brush selected, use the space bar on your keyboard to navigate around and position closer to the eyes. Now we have the eyes in front of us. We have our brush selected and we want to paint over the areas we want to make brighter or where we want to remove the dark circles. 
So to do this, let's gently paint over the area right here. Take your time. And that's about it. Maybe also a little bit here. Now we can adjust it a little later. So don't worry about it if it's not perfect. After this, we're going to also do it on the other eye. So once again, right here, nicely paint over the areas you want to make brighter. So this looks about right to start with. Once we're happy with it, we can now come back to our main toolbar, jump out of the masking and click on the adjustment tab. Here we want to go into the light section where we very simply going to use the exposure slider to make these areas brighter. So let's use the exposure slider and bring it up. Keep an eye on the eyes and go as far as you think it looks natural. Let's have a look. As always, don't forget to use before and after. And I think it's already much better. However, it looks like it's a little bit too bright. So for this, let's bring the exposure down and leave it somewhere around 40. Once again, let's have a look at the before and after. And I think it's much better. To get a better view, it's always good to zoom out again. And again, you can use the shortcut at the bottom of your screen or simply hit Command-0, which will fit the image into your window. Once again, let's have a look at the before and after. And it's quite subtle change. However, it works really well. So this is a simple and easy technique where we use masking and brush. We paint the areas we want to make brighter and then we use the exposure slider to brighten them up. Just before we going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your favorite tools in Luminar Neo. Get it today and receive extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs, and presets to easily transform your images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video, or to find out more about it, visit our website, cleverphotographer.com. Moving on to the technique number three, following a similar method. However, this time we're going to use different tool. So let's go back to our main toolbar. Scroll all the way down to the professional section and open the dodge and burn tool. Make it nice and visible. And we will start by adjusting the settings. With the amount slider, bring it down to 40. And then move to the brush control. Make sure that you are on the lighten because we're going to be lightening the areas under the eyes. After that, the size we will adjust later. So with the softness, make sure you around 80 and with the strength, go to 30. After this, once again, we need to zoom in closer to the eyes. So again, you can use the shortcut at the bottom of your screen or simple command or control plus on your keyboard. Zoom in, use the space bar to move around and make sure that you have the face in front of you. After this, we can now start to paint over the areas we want to make brighter. If we need to adjust the size of the brush, we can come back to our brush control or use the bracket keys on our keyboard. I think around 88, maybe a little bigger, maybe like 90 is good. And now let's very simply paint over the areas we want to brighten. Just like this here. And also a little bit here. If you want, you can click again and make it a little brighter. And we can also brighten some other areas. Let's make the brush smaller. And let's say that we also gonna work here, even more here and here, and maybe even more on the side here. And that's about it to start with. Now let's have a look at the before and after. Once again, on our tool, top right corner, little eye icon, before and after. And I think it's much better. However, it looks like it's a little bit too bright. So now we can really easily adjust this. All to do with the amount slider. Simply bring it down if it's too bright or bring it up if you want it brighter. 
So I think somewhere around 30 is looking good for me. So once again, let's zoom out with the use of Command or Control zero. And again, let's have a look at the before and after. And I think it looks quite nice. So this is the third technique with the use of a dodge and burn tool. Start with the lower number on your settings in the amount and strength, then work your brighter areas into your face and again adjust the overall result with the amount slider. And finally, it's time to look at the technique number four, where we're going to be using the power of clone tool here in Luminar Neo. So for the last time, let's go back to our main toolbar and scroll all the way down. Again, in professional section, you will find the clone tool. So let's click on it to open it. Once we here, all we're going to adjust is the strength. So the strength needs to go down all the way to 20. After this, again, we want to zoom in. So again, use the command or control plus, then the space bar and navigate closer to the eyes. Make sure that you're nice and close and we are ready. Now, when you hover over the image, you will see that you see the little circle with a cross on it. This is going to be our reference area. So if we want to make this area brighter, we're going to reference a part of the face, which is brighter. So let's say that we're going to use this part right here. We're going to simply click. And once we do that, we have our reference area selected. So now we can adjust the size of our brush. So I think just maybe a little bit smaller, maybe somewhere around 90. And now we can very gently paint over the area of the eyes. If we want, we can again hold Option or Alt on our keyboard and select different area as our reference. So let's say that we click here. And now again, we can paint over this area to make it brighter. And we can keep using Alt or Option and reference different areas to make sure that the result is as natural as possible. Now moving to the next eye, similarly, we're going to reference this area right here. So Alt or Option, click and then paint over the eyes. So that's a one layer. Now again, we can reference the area again. And if we want it brighter, we can paint over it again. Let's go back again to the other side, reference certain area and just paint over. Once we are ready, let's zoom out and let's have a look at the before and after. This technique is a secret of many portrait photographers especially when they're doing a quick edit. The key is to use very low strength on your brush and also keep sampling the areas so you're always getting the right color of the skin. So one more time, let's zoom in. Let's navigate back there. And remember that you want to use the auto option to sample the areas, then maybe only do a few strokes, move to the next area, sample it again and paint again and continue like this. Finally, one more key and one more tip for this technique is to use as big brush as possible. You don't want to use too small brush because if you're going to do that, you will start to see the strokes. So try to use bigger brush somewhere around 90 in this case and paint over it. So it's a combination of low strength, frequent sampling and as big brush as possible. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.